50s and 60s, so beautiful weather as we head into next week. 98, still an unorganized system, but starting to look more impressive. Now, in terms of any kind of low level circulation, I'd mentioned one of the satellite passes earlier this morning was starting to show kind of an elongated area. So looks like maybe circulation is trying to close off and it certainly appears as though thunderstorms are trying to develop around some sort of center and those thunderstorms. This is the first time we've really seen that at all since we've been tracking this wave uh, that was still well to the east of the island. So now in the southern Caribbean, it does appear as though it is getting better organized and possibly we could see either a depression or a name storm sometime tomorrow. Now the model guidance again what we're showing you here is just a path. This is not an intensity forecast. So the models are in good agreement of where this is going to go, at least in the near term through late Saturday, early Sunday south of Jamaica. As we get toward the end of the weekend and early next week, a still decent agreement, a little bit of a spread from the models, but also notice a bit of a shift in the models and a shift that we have been hoping for another shift to the east. So this has been the trend we were really hoping we would see. And it again looks like we're starting to finally see the models in agreement with the upper steering. There's going to be an upper ridge off to the east, kind of keeping the storm turning, but a deepening trough, which should start dragging it farther to the north and faster to the north. That's we've started to see the change in the GFS. The GFS now going with that storm thing. And if, again, it does become a name storm. It will be Hermine off the west coast of Cuba and then getting lifted into maybe more central east Gulf before that turn thanks to the upper trough. The euro has been the far more aggressive with that easterly motion. Here's the upper high off to its east. There's the turn of the storm actually more over central to west uh, Cuba and then almost do uh, almost uh, moving into due south Florida do, moving due north into southern Florida and then quickly moving into the Atlantic by a week from yesterday. So that would be the best case scenario that it spends almost no time in the Gulf of Mexico. The Euro, this is having a deeper trough, which most of the models are now starting to agree on. So it looks like we're starting to see a little bit more agreement with the models and all positive for us because that upper trough will reinforce the front and likely uh, deflect any kind of tropical activity. They can't cross the front. All they can do is kind of ride along that boundary.